a, a lesser number this year said that they're satisfied or very satisfied with their, their return on their automation um, compared to uh, the previous year. <laughs> so we're sort of stepping back there a little bit. Now, Mitchell, I know you're a lover of automation. Yes. So, uh, Tell us, what do you think the obstacles are here when we get down to it as far as why are people having problems with, the, with, with their automation plans? Uh, many reasons, of course. Uh, obviously, often the basics are not in place. Uh, the application hasn't been deployed properly. Training hasn't been uh, provided in, in any uh, sustainable, ongoing way. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, you've kicked off with a professional services entity to help you get the, yeah. the platform up and running, but you haven't... Uh, uh, transfer that knowledge to your own team and you haven't retained uh, a meaningful relationship with a good professional services specialist who can really help you with your process maturity uh, and you're struggling to get uh, the early wins that are necessary to build momentum within the organization. You've maybe been talking about it for some time. Sales organization is saying, well, where are all my marketing qualified leads that I that will have a 50% conversion rate and uh, fill my pipeline <laughs> and uh, help me. That's what you promised me. Quote it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so. Funny. That, and, and you need um, uh, sales heavily owning uh, the commitment as well. Uh, and you need a commitment. Maybe you need additional resources. Maybe you don't have an inside sales team to do the necessary filtering and, and nurturing. Uh, you need to make a commitment for that, a case for that. Um, you need the jigsaw puzzle, piece, uh, puzzle pieces to come together. It's yes. an orchestra. Yes. And it, it's one part of the mix, CRM. Marketing automation and CRM go better together. Absolutely. That's uh, yes. that's fundamental. Yes. So uh, are your sales organization committed to around engaging and utilizing the CRM platform? Are yes. they going in and looking at the, uh, what the data that's being made available from the marketing automation platform? Are they really meaningfully committing to using that? Yeah. Um, uh, is your website content management system fully integrated? Yeah. Uh, those, are, those are all platform challenges that need to be aggressively and assertively addressed and integrated and synchronized and aligned and focused. Yeah. Uh, easy to say, of course, very challenging to do in a, in a, in a, a typical organization where you've got multiple other uh, uh, issues and problems and immediate uh, forest fires to deal with. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. really hard. I yes. think it's a really hard. And I think you hit two r real key problems mm. on the head. One is skills. Yes. And this, yeah, you know, I see this time and time and time again mm. that that the, the platform is fantastic. Yes. But the skill set sitting underneath it isn't there, and what it ends up being is a kind of a glorified email kind steroids. of distribution. Yes, you email on steroids. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, and marketing automation yeah, exactly. is so much more than <laughs> that. Yes, exactly. And it, that, that's what it ends up being yes. seen as internally and being used as internally. And until we yes. start investing in those skills, mm. that technology will never be able to perform to, mm -hmm. the, to the extent that it really should be able to. Sure. So I think that's one. And I think the other thing is that we put it in and go, right, we've got marketing automation now. But to your point, to really make that hum, make that really work, it has to be connected to all of the other technologies yes. that you have. And it's a really hard process mm -hmm. that you go through because you put it in and you open the door and get, there's another challenge and then yes. another integration that needs to happen and something. And it's, it really requires someone to be relentless about it and take on that task of being the internal person who is going to champion bringing all of these yes. pieces together. Because without that, the marketing automation, it can't, it can't work no. miracles on its own. Exactly right, so it's a big job. So my experience has been it's very much a cross-functional um, platform and strategy. I, I think you hit the nail on the head around skills and because it is cross-functional it's not only a marketing driven yep. platform, um, there's several other stakeholders involved. Probably the most prevalent that Mitchell alluded to is the IT layer of the business mm. and typically we're seeing that a lot of marketing automations being integrated by the yes. IT part of the business and to me that's where one of the challenges is, in, is that Marketing is not driving the integration across all the other systems, whether it be CRM or your back-end SAP. It's IT, and therefore they take a set of requirements, and typically those <coughs> requirements come from potentially a marketing group that are looking for like-for-like -like type models, and therefore we replicate what we've been doing. Yeah. So effectively we bring uh, a MailChimp on steroids yes. into our systems, <laughs> and therefore we start doing outbound email and we think we're doing automation. Sure. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so But you so pay for a Ferrari and you're driving a tractor. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes. So, it's, uh, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot bigger than just installing a piece of software. That's mm. The, the, other, got the other piece I just want yeah. to touch on too, which I found to be one of the key challenges, is the business process transformation yes. that, yep. that needs to occur to accommodate and leverage and optimise mm. yes. 
you know, the, the automation platform. And that's yeah. from sales, from marketing, from IT, from every stakeholder group because they all need to accommodate change to really understand how to leverage, yeah. you know, the power of the automation platform. And sometimes they may not be that committed or that motivated to do so. So it's a big, yeah. big challenge, but the reward's definitely there. Obviously, we've talked about predictive, which is sort of the panacea or the end game. Mm. Yeah. 